Hi viewers, welcome back. In this video, I am trying to explain some uh, further detail about the cascading and uh, dependent drop down list in Coho. For example, if you want these two columns country code and country, and you want if I select a country code from this list. So it should give me the name of the country also. Or if you want advice, for so for example, if the country is here and you want to select the country and then the code should automatically appear here, you should select it. So you can do that very easily with cascading and dependent drop down list. Let me explain that to you. For example, in this Kobo, let's create a new form from the scratch. This is, for example, a form. I am giving this ABC name and you can give description sector and country also. So here when you select create the form. So here for such type of question as I have already shared in my previous video, you need a cascading select option. And this this is the sheet for developing there. This sheet I have already shared in my Kobo part 2. For example, if you want that uh, there should be a list of a country and then after that uh, when I select a country, so a code of that country should automatically appear below. So for that, simply you have to develop this list. As explained in uh, the part 2 of the Google, the link is given in the description. Here you can do that like first in the list name. You need to have all the country codes, and when the country codes read it, so then you have to add the country name and then here the code. If you want it vice versa, first you want the country and then the code, so you can do that. Uh, instead of country code, you will have to add here the country names, and then here in the choice filter, you will have to give them the country name instead of the country code. When you do this, so what you need. You just need to go to the Kobo and here you see this insert cascading select. Select that cascading and uh, from here just copy this whole sheet along with the heading and paste it here. You paste it, just click done. Here you see you have all the codes that is a drop down list and after the codes there are country if you have given the country name first and then the code so first you will see the name of the countries now here uh, just do one thing go to setting of this one and here select minimal in that appearance minimal so that all the list is not uh, visible when you come to the form only there should be a drop down and here you don't need anything just go and save this you save this so then click preview and you will see now here you see you have a country code none selected so here from this that's why it's minimal why i selected minimal so that it should not be a long list it should be a drop down so when i select this country code so here you can see the country name appear automatically just select it and validate if you have the country name first, so then in this Kobo sheet, you will uh, need to add here the country and then here the country code. For example, you want here the country name. So instead of that, I, I, I change this to country and here this column to the, this is also now country because here you will have to select a, a choice filter based on the country. So here first we have the names of the countries and similarly you can do for districts and the So and here you can see the country code. So these are the country code and this is the choice filter for the country. Now if I paste this one for example let's insert another cascade insert click done this is the old one now this is the new one 
so here you can see uh, in the country I will have to go to the setting and just select from the appearance minimum and save there are some other choices also you can select from them so now let's preview so now when you preview this so here you can see there is country first so when you select country so here you can see the country code the select and then it so in this way you can make such type of dependent drop down list with Kobo cascade select if you like the video so kindly click the like button share it and subscribe the channel dear viewers we have started this youtube channel there are free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn microsoft excel microsoft access powerpoint ms word other learning tips so we have detailed playlist and there are hundreds of tutorials on microsoft excel uh, microsoft powerpoint how to design presentation microsoft access how to develop databases and manage data online data collection learning google form kobo ms forms if you visit this channel you can find lots of video tutorial kindly support us visit the channel for example in ms excel you will find these sessions in a proper sequence for example in ms excel playlist we have this basic session and then session two three four so if you start learning these sessions so from the start you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on microsoft basics data analysis conditional format pivot tables use of if uh, concatenate formulas, dependent drop down list, validation, name managers, VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP function, F function, uh, advanced use of count, F in some ifs, how to find duplicates, tricks and tips related to Microsoft Excel, how to develop search boxes, searchable drop down list, aggregate functions, tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted, for example, school going and other such studies. There are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts, attractive charts, speedometers, uh, dashboards in Microsoft Excel. Similarly, in PowerPoint, also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in PowerPoint. How to do in MS Access, also you will find all these session in prop sequence. Uh, the Access tutorials playlist. Here are almost eight sessions. Uh, in session one, you will find the basics how to create tables, queries, forms, and then you will go on with advanced options in microsoft access similarly you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data google form uh, kobo uh, ms form uh, you will find also the use of ms word the mail merge functions there are session on spss also so you can learn spss if you need to do some analysis in spss there is a series on project management also how to conduct need assessment studies kindly support us visit the channel Watch, learn and improve your productivity. Thank you so much.